mind stop uh, to stop uh, sharing your screen? It's oh yeah, storing my cam setup off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how sensitive my shit is, man. My screen. It's super sensitive, man. Like if 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 any of you were to change the order, if he like for instance, if um Hybrid were to change his name to something that alphabetically would place him before PT, it would fuck up my whole camera system. <laughs> That's how sensitive my shit is right now. <laughs> <laughs> man um yeah no but like it's just i don't know when i when i played god of war it's just you know you know okay I'll, well i'll say this about the game obviously a lot of people know it's going to be a big part of atreus's story you know mm. everyone knows that it's just funny <laughs> because in in the first game when atreus becomes a little shit after he finds out some information you hate him for a while and like okay. you know like this is why condoms is this and right after uh in this game it's funny because you know that kind of gets amplified but it doesn't piss you off in the way you expect you know what i mean mm -hmm. it it pisses you off in a way that uh you kind of feel like a parent who's losing his kid which is strange because it's a video game my child it's, they say my child <laughs> i, I do was, uh, i thought it was his boy fucking facebook and YouTube and everything, TikTok, everything ruins everything. So now I know like bits and pieces. Oh, um, yeah. Not like anything super specific, but I know like Atreus goes somewhere and Kratos is all like, boy, you should be over here, boy, kind of thing. <laughs> like, oh, that fucking yeah. sucks, man. That and that the only I was gonna get a PS5 to play it also, and I um I actually decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna get it for the PS4 because. I kept seeing spoilers, and I was like, I, I I don't want that shit. I don't want that at all. So I caved. I caved. I picked it up. Played it. I would not relent. And uh, no, very happy. Very happy with the way it came out. Nice. So I want to play. I would, like, I want something to play when I get my PS5. Mm. So like, I'm saving close to protocol. I'm saving Dead but, Space. But you know that that War. what's it called? Um, Ragnarok is. Pretty much designed for the PS4. It's not designed for the PS5. Oh, probably. It's just that I also want to get a bigger TV. <laughs> so ah. around the date, I would like all of that. I actually know somebody you're, selling you're a sixty-inch inside like three thousand bucks more or less. Yeah. Nice. Or at least like okay for the, how much for the, how much did you get your PS5 for? Well, Ooh. I got mine for about, yeah, I got it for about a grand. But that's, oh, that's because fine. I got the uh, what's it called? <laughs> It was like a combo deal with with, with, <laughs> with, the, with the PS5, a, a game, and a controller. So I have oh, two makes... controllers and another game, and and and, and no, that PS5. makes that makes rough sense. At least like take the PS5. Like what's PS5 usually six hundred, somewhere around that, and, and then add an extra two for the game and the control, and yeah. then tax. So no, a yeah, makes but sense. hang on a second. The G was just for the PS5, no? No, it was for the PS5 and the game and the control all together. Yeah. All together. Okay. No, that makes sense. Yeah. It's still outrageous. Oh yeah, totally. But a lot of things are outrageous because COVID not just fucked up all health wise, it fucked up financial wise. Because apparently, excuse, excuse, inflation, excuse. Mm -hmm. So now we're paying an arm and a leg for bullshit. <laughs> well, but, what, yeah. You know what I will say about that shit though? About um, the whole uh, COVID made everything expensive. Is that a, a lot of like parts and whatnot that comes from overseas? Um, I, I do think that it was hindered, like in terms of oh, shit. probably because I, we went to buy a car in at in actually in January of this year, and uh, car manufacturers were like, uh, yeah, I got I got nothing to sell you because we're not getting parts because of COVID. Nobody nobody, nobody worked for two years. So oh no, absolutely. There's a backlog like, of parts it, right now. If it wasn't for yeah. the fact that like the places just shut down because they were so afraid of COVID spreading. And, like, then it actually did spread, and you're like, well, this is what we waited for? Well, fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, of course people are going to die because it's a new virus. It happens. But, like... Put everyone on hold? Yeah, they just That's literally it. went, oh, fuck it, everyone go on hold. We can't do this, we can't do this. Things spoil, things get left, things blah, blah, blah. And then people don't want to work because instead of just supplying the companies with money so that they can at least survive and still, still hire people back for their wage... They decided to give money to them. And all these yeah, people yeah, just yeah. are like, oh, cool, I have extra money. This won't affect <laughs> me later. Yuck. 
<laughs> and it does affect him later. He yuck. I read something. And then yeah. they're so like broke, and then like the internet blew up, and like you had bit like I know you guys love bitcoins and shit, but like Bitcoin happened, which practically ruined everyone's mentality. There's just we could stay at home and be rich. Wait, are you accusing Who, me of being now? A bit why bro? would you want to work if you could stay home and be rich? Are you accusing me of being a bit bro? Yeah, no, I'm not. That's uh, I'm joking. That's a ginger over there who's a bit bro. Oh no, it's absolutely Definitely. ginger. Oh, totally, <laughs> tinge of the ginger, but, right? <laughs> but you know, but you know what I mean. Like the like COVID proved that you could stay at home and make money. So why would you go back to Walmart where you could stay at home and make ten times the amount? You know what's fucked or up? like social media? Why? Like look at all these people on Twitch. I'm sorry to get ranty, but look at all these people on Twitch, <laughs> <laughs> Twitch and YouTube and all this shit, dude. Do these people? are literally having boring ass conversations like we're having now of nothing in specifics and thousands upon millions of people watch them and they get egos but you know in real life if this were like 20 years ago you'd have been like shut the fuck up kid why are you spazzing in the middle of fucking walmart you know what i mean <laughs> like it's popular to look at other people's lives but no one wants to live their own absolutely mm -hmm. and and covid amplified that when everybody was stuck in their it homes, amplified it so yeah. So now everyone doesn't want to work because everyone thinks that they can make easy and fast cash. And don't be, don't get me wrong, I don't blame them. But at the same time, you have like a shortage of people at Walmart, McDonald's. Uh, tankers of food got left on the water. Mm. Like, and then like, well, I didn't hear about that. then what? Then while all of this is happening, this is going to sound conspiracy or whatever, but like while this is all happening, you have people with money who control things are now withholding things from everybody else. Hence the video chip shortage. Hence this thing. Hence this thing. And like it's mm -hmm. so annoying that it happened in the span of just two years because now everything is super expensive and I can't get my damn PS5. What you're talking about the 4080 is super, super affordable. <laughs> Like, am I, is, is it, I, does this I seem like me. a retarded dream to be living in, or is it just me? No, everything is about expensive, no, man. But, yeah. but also, I mean, you got to rack it up to inflation, but what caused inflation? Mm. Mm. So, but, uh, yeah, so annoying. I mean, yes. from the price of gas to the price of groceries to everything, everything is just madness right now. In terms but, of, but yeah. like, why? <laughs> like, think about it. Like, three years ago, would you ever went like, oh, man. The virus is just gonna happen, and then Russia's gonna start fighting with Ukraine. <laughs> like, did anybody ever wake up and just go like, "Man, I hope that never happens," and then ta-da? <laughs> yeah, like this is ridiculous. Like, just three years ago, shit was like seventy percent cheaper. I'm obviously exaggerating, but you get what I mean. Like, why is rent a thousand bucks when three years ago it would have been seven hundred? Yeah. Well, I can't. Yeah, I can't speak to rent, but I, I understand. Like, my understanding is that rent <laughs> skyrocketed. Like, like I know I don't get. I know I, I don't. I haven't studied financials or anything, so I'm sure I'm missing information. But it seems a little under a ridiculous side that shit just shot up like that. No, well, I, I think I, I didn't study in finance either. I work in the field, but I didn't study in it. Um, and I think a part of the issue is that we're we're told by the people in charge, and I'm not talking like leaders or whatever, but like by financial institutions, by banks, by mm. by everybody, that, oh, this is normal. This is supposed to happen. This is how we built the system. This is how it goes. How? You know? And, and so so when you say that and people are, are are starting to struggle, you're like, why 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 would you make that then? <laughs> you know? You know? Why, why, I, I, but I, that's the other thing that boggles my mind too is that it's a man-made thing. Why can't you just not do it? Oh, but one thing's for sure. If we were to change the system that we have right now, and I'm talking like – uh, tax system or or inflationary system or mm. just even like fiat currency anything like that. Um, oh man, uh, the global markets would fall would fall apart. If you think oh, man, if you think things are bad now, oh if you, if you think things are bad now, holy <laughs> shit, it's gonna get a lot worse because mm. it's no longer going to be you know, <laughs> Quan Chi making your iPhone in China. It's going to be you know. Martin Dubreuil making it in Quebec, and he's gonna he's, he's gonna want sixty dollars an hour to make that iPhone. <laughs> it's gonna cost uh, a lot more. <laughs> I just hate everybody. Everyone sucks. Agreed. Just, ugh. People. Yeah. Ugh. Bill Burr said it best, man. We need a new disease, and he said that before COVID came up. You know, <laughs> if we could somehow just eradicate all the greedy or lazy people, that'd be great. Uh, is, that, is that too is that too holocausty of me to say? No, to I just, all these I'm hesitant to agree because I'm one of the lazy people. But I mean, yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, when I mean lazy, I mean Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I love how we we're, we're going live. 
I'm, I'm probably gonna put this shit up on YouTube. He's just like he keeps name dropping this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Matt <laughs> Fule. <laughs> Fuck this kid, dude. He's to this old cat shit. That is lazy. Oh, oh my god. What? Wait, what? Slept in his own cat shit. Not joking. Slept in his own. Wow. <laughs> like he uh, he had a bed, <laughs> and there was cat shit in said bed. Okay, okay. I thought and you were... he's wow. laying there in cat shit. I'm like, dude, you know there's shit right there. Yeah. Why are you still Why are you still laying down like that though? Why are you still, Why are you letting yourself lay in cat shit? Well, you know, I'll get it. You'll get it. Dude, you, how are you surrounded by cat shit? You had to have gotten to the bed, by the way. How do you not see this? <laughs> For a second, I got scared because I thought you said this guy had a bed, but then he also had cat shit. And he chose to sleep in cat shit. The fact that the yes. cat shit was in the bed is already yeah. making the story yes. a little better. Uh, he, no, it. He, yeah. <laughs> it sounds it sounds fucked up because it is. Like, I'm not making any of this up. He slept with cat shit in his bed and refused to do anything. I took a picture. His entire room was full of garbage. If you went, this is a landfill and this is your place, he'd be like, well, yeah, I had to live there because squatters rights. And and like, he was a retard. Mm. So Wait, we're talking about video actually, games today, right? Was he, one of the, was he one of those people? Squatters rights and all that crap? Yep. Yeah. Holy fuck. Dude, he literally, like, remember when we had that house? Yeah. And you were like, I want to kick you out, which everyone agreed. Yep. I guess everyone just forgot, but everyone agreed. And then he's like, you can't kick me out. Squatter's rights. You can't just do anything even if I'm on the lease or not on the lease. I'm like, dude, we're all on the lease. We all want you out. We could all kick you out. Why haven't we? We probably should have just, fo I'm pretty sure had we followed through with it then, uh, things would have been a lot better. Oh, uh, if this were like 10 years ago, we easily would have done that. We're like, okay, no, get out, kick. Like oh, we got we we got lenient in our old age. <laughs> <laughs> like we would have remember <laughs> this is probably incriminating to say, but remember we when we used to play punch out but in real life on certain people? <laughs> <laughs> I I do remember this time. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like at some thing. point you happen to have a jacket that may or may not have belonged to someone and you used it as a sled to go down a hill of snow after shoveling snow into this guy's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean when he tried to tackle me and I threw him to the side and then just shoveled snow up? <laughs> wait, yes. wait, you tackled someone, threw no, him no, to the he side. Tried to, oh, sorry, sorry, he tried someone, to tackle me. And you threw him to the side. You had time to go get a shovel. He didn't move. And no, you, and you no, 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 no. Hey, okay, we're outside of a Harvey's. We're outside of a Harvey's, and for some reason, this brilliant genius with an IQ of 0. 0.2 decides to tackle De uh, PT? <laughs> just, Wait, are we streaming right now? I am. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't realize. I, didn't, I would have started. A so regardless, he decides to tackle Dan for some weird reason. Like Dan's already twice as wide as him, but he's like, okay, I'm going to decide to pick on this guy for some <laughs> dumb reason. I'm cool. So he does it. He does it. Fails miserably. This man then proceeds to take his hand and shovel snow into his shirt until he looks like a hunchback. <laughs> And then he pushes him as he then takes his jacket and it slides down the hill going, Wee! <laughs> Jesus. Yo, y'all were bullies, man. Oh Hashtag my bully life. <laughs> it's like, on one part of it, I have to agree. On another part of it, he kind of did it to himself a lot of Yo, the time. This guy absolutely, like, this world has now programmed you into thinking that whatever you happen to do that happens to be anything to anybody else is abuse, it's invasion of space. No, some people deserve to be a little bit bullied when they decide to act like an asshole. <laughs> Equal rights, right? So oh, you man. use your equal lefts to also produce some justice to this jackass. Little, little Timmy's getting shit on right now because of you. you fuck that kid. <laughs> if you're going to decide to go and pick on someone physically, and then they dominate you, you can't say anything. You can't. Yep. You provoked it. That was the repercussion. Too bad, so sad. Jesus Christ. That's oh, ridiculous. No, no, no. Fucking cats losing that shit funny. back there. It was hilarious. <laughs> this guy got so much comeuppance <laughs> because he thought he was so big. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love back in the day because back in the day it would have happened. Now everybody has their phones and their wiener couldn't get hard enough to put them on YouTube. And then all of a sudden your face <laughs> is plastered being the shit out of somebody who deserved it. But for some reason now you look like a bully because you whooped his ass and the camera happened to catch it. Is well, that a big I, rant? I don't know. I think if I would have rubbed PT's ass, 
the internet would be okay with it. Like, let's pretend PTO here. If it was the other way around, there'd be a problem. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. let's, say, <laughs> let's say PT comes up to, like, your brother. I don't know if you have a brother. I'm just trying not to say anything too sensitive. But anyways, he walks over to etc. And he happens to go, wedgies are hilarious. And then proceeds to rip their underwear right up their asshole. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So he proceeds to do that. You get angry. Someone whips out their phone going, oh, and then they just catch your catcher's mitt, wail right to his jaw, and he goes soft-legged right to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so right now on TikTok, when 10 different people try to get clout because you had an excellent video, they're now portraying you as the bad guy because you decide to haymaker this motherfucker to hell. <laughs> Unbeknownst to the fact that he started it because he thought wedgies were a new ride. There that that already happened, man. There was this there was this kid in the UK, this this huge kid, this tank of a kid in a school, who uh, picked up this little tiny dude, this little scrawny kid. And yeah, the, the video that released, he picked him up and he fucking like sumoplexed him, but from the front. I don't even know what to call it. Oh, I kind of want to make a video of it, because I saw what you mean. Like, he just, like, kept wailing on it, wailing on it. The kid just went, like, okay, drops his bag, picks this motherfucker up right on his shoulder, dominates him right to the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, No, but initially, <laughs> initially, the first video that came out was just the big guy dominating the little kid. And then the yeah. whole video came out, and it was a little dude who wouldn't stop harassing him and punched him and called yeah. him fatty and all kinds of shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, I saw and, that video. Because it came out early, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, mid twenty, mid two thousands, twenties. Mid oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, I want to make a video where like it's happening, and then like when he lifts him up, it says like we are the nation of domination from wrestling, <laughs> and then it proceeds to make like this little Titan Tron of Farouk giving him the Dominator, because that's literally what it is—the Dominator. When you lift him up on your shoulder like that, and then you throw him gut first to the floor. Oh my god. So it'd be hilarious as like a little video. It's all like, here lifts up, we are the nation. And then he just slams him repeatedly in like a Titan Tron. <laughs> oh man. The world is a weird place. Okay. So I was, I have a question because you guys are streamers and Sister well, Damaged right, Vision. Yeah, that's right. why he has glasses. It's uh, streaming live right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> JK. But like, What's my question? Oh right. Uh what's a <laughs> what's a decent amount of viewers on Twitch? If you if you can uh, pull in, I would say like a hundred on a stream. Mm -hmm. I say you're set. Really? Yeah, it's at least somewhere to start off. Plus it allows you at that point to make partner. Yeah, oh, the, that's cool. the the moment you yeah. can uh you can average I think it's eight between eighty and hundred, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh no, concurrent unless viewers. They it. Yeah. No, unless they change it, yeah. The, you become partner, and then that's all you would require in order to uh, to start getting revenue. Now, I don't. I think the majority of a streamer's revenue comes from um, what do they call it? No, ads and subs. Subs. Yeah, I think a lot of it subs. comes from subs. Um, I know the ad revenue changed on Twitch. It's fifty fifty now, even for people like us, affiliates. Okay. Uh, we get fifty fifty now also, um, but there was a tier above partner. I forgot what it was. Uh, however, there, that, that there is. That, I thought it was. I thought it was just. It was. I don't remember what it was before. It was being a streamer, then it was affiliate, and then partner. No. Uh, maybe, sorry. Maybe it's there? not a tier above partner, but there was something that they did that removed the incentive to try and gain more concurrent viewers. Basically, what they did was they lowered the amount, the split, because you know, like right now, it's like a I don't know, 25, 75 split in favor of Twitch. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a 50-50 split. And then you had a 75-25 in favor for you. Um, but they changed that and they capped it at 50-50. Uh, and oh, wow. What I understood was that one of the reasons was because of uh, maintenance issues and server costs and that kind of stuff. They had to figure out a way to promote smaller viewers at the same time um, cut costs, you know. And, and what that did was effectively make it so that uh, it, it wasn't worth it to go capture that amount of people anymore at least at least that was my understanding I, uh, I saw like what one video and one article about it so yeah i i, I heard some stuff about it too that, that honestly kind of i'd have to know more to know how much it sucks but regardless that still kind of sounds like it sucks like if they ruined your incentive to go into being like a partner mm -hmm. like why are you gonna bother go through the affiliate and everything else process exactly yeah Oh man, uh, yo! A bunch of new trailers came out. 
uh, I think it was uh, this week. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I saw the trailer for Indy 5. I have yet to see it, but I heard it's <sighs> what? looking Indiana Jones. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I saw the trailer for the new Indiana Jones, and I was mixed on it. It, it looks good. It honestly looks really good. It's just if the story's going where I think it's going, I'm like, all right, that's a little too far for me now. All I know is it seems like it has to do with time travel. You see that's young and right. old Indy, and <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to pull a Doctor Who. Watch, they're going to pull a Doctor Who. They're going to go. Who? Yeah, isn't it Doctor Who or who? What the fuck is it called? Doctor Strange. No, the no the the British. Guy no, Doctor or... Who is the uh, the guy who time travels in uh, or dimension travels. He has yeah, oh, yeah. like a phone booth. Yeah. He has different radiation, like radiations. Wow, he has different people. <laughs> He's different lives and all that crap. Like just different Doctor Who's. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I, I, I think they're gonna pull a Doctor Who on Indiana Jones, man. Honestly, they're gonna make him go back in time, meet his younger self, and make him sacrifice himself so the younger one can live on, and it's gonna go down a different path. You know what I mean? It's like really, really. Disney's just mm. Disney's just recycling shit now. I don't know, man. The, and the action looks pretty good. Like, I saw I saw a, a scene of Harrison Ford cracking the whip and stuff. I'm like, yo, for a 70, 80-year-old dude, he's still cracking it, man. He's, he's not too bad, you know? And obviously, every stunt that you see is, like, it's always shot from the back or it's super far, so it's it's not him. But still, yeah, yeah. It, like, it's, it's well done. It looks good. What I didn't check was I don't know if this is um, a uh, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg movie. I doubt it is. No, I, I, I don't believe so. I, I remember hearing that he, he's not interested because he ran out of ideas, or... At least it's not George Lucas. Okay. I know that much. And I don't think Spielberg Steven Spielberg... Maybe, but... Yeah, no, I don't think he's in this. Spielberg is making his other movie there. Um... Oh, yeah. I, I think I saw, like, bits and... It's like, it has to do with, the, like, shooting videos or whatnot. It's basically his own life story, growing up. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, dude, that looks fucking good to me, man. I, I'm down to watch that. Um, but yeah, the new indie just looked meh. Huh. I, ho I hope it's good. I truly hope it's good. I truly hope it's good. But I have my reserve. I have my doubts about it. Oh, and the oh, yo, the new Transformers. Did you see the trailer for that? Yeah, I saw, I saw some bits yo, and pieces of it. Optimal Prime, maybe Beast yo, Wars. No, oh, that like oh, like it, you saw like what's in it? Cheetor. Cheetor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't see Rat Trap, but. Primal. <laughs> I, yeah, you didn't see. Sorry, you didn't see Red Trap. You basically saw everybody else, mm -hmm. or at least most of them. Like you saw. I didn't. I don't recall seeing Rhinox, but I have to see it again. No, that, was... you, you saw. Well, at least you saw Rhino. So oh, I'm thinking Rhino. that's oh. Rhinox. Okay. Oh, uh, I was. I was. I, I was honestly fanboying at the fact that the Autobots actually have their cartoon look. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that too, man. Like well, I look, I'm like, what the fuck? Why does Optimus look like that? Like it's dope that he's actually that flat nose truck. Yeah. It looks, yeah. it looks so good. Well, the movie's based in the 90s. If you look at, like, the time period and the cop cars in the trailer and everything. Mm. And I think it's a direct sequel cool. to the movie Bumblebee, which is also based mm. in the 90s. Oh, damn. Okay. I think it's a direct sequel to that. I'm not sure. And the, and the, the character design of Bumblebee is the same character design from that movie, I think. So I, I think it's a direct sequel to that. Um, oh, it just looks cool. I, I'm looks, very curious to know. Not only it's does it good. look cool, but it's for the first time in a while I, I want to see a Transformers movie. Yeah, you know, I kind of completely forgot all about them. Remember, I think after the third one. Yeah, after the third one, I was done. Like once they yeah. brought it back with Mark Wahlberg, I didn't give two shits. Didn't yeah. care to see it, and I didn't see the one after that. <laughs> Still haven't seen <laughs> it. <laughs> Still haven't seen it. So, so yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm really happy because it's been a while since like a popular franchise has made me excited to see one of their movies again, and I'm not super excited to see it, but at least I'm like, oh, that doesn't look bad, you know. I finally want to see a movie again. And um, also, what was released this week? The trailer for Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That, yeah, that I haven't seen. And it really had like this Christmas special that came out. Yo, and apparently it was fucking good too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but pe apparently okay. people really liked it. I'm surprised. Okay. So I'm, I'm down. I'm going to check that out. And uh, the trailer for the movie looks okay. Like, it doesn't look amazing, but... There, there's one thing that I do know from the, the Christmas special. Apparently, the rocket actually gets Bucky's arm. Oh yeah, I saw I saw the uh, I saw the memes yeah. going around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's amazing. Yeah, I like, saw the memes going cool. around. But yeah, no, it was a great week for uh, for trailers, man. Like movie trailers and stuff. Mr. Bean came out with a movie. 
What? Yeah, called Man vs. B. Huh. Oh, it's not a Wait, movie. Is, it's not a movie. It... It's a TV show. It's a Netflix TV show. Okay. And uh, it's basically him moving into this luxury, fancy house, babysitting the house for someone. Um, and on the day he moves in, uh, a bee flies in along with him. And then, I don't know, it's like a miniseries. Apparently it's ten episodes of him and this bee fighting. That's it. Okay. Yeah. But it, is it Mr. Bean or is it just Rowan Atkinson, actually? It, it's, it's Rowan Atkinson. He speaks. He has a speaking okay. role. But he, it's but it has it's the it's the slapstick physical humor of Mr. Bean. Okay. Like he's trying to kill this bee with like a flamethrower and drowning it and all kinds of shit. And at one point, there's like a scene where you see like the bee rolls out from a fire in slow motion. It's all animated. It's like what the fuck? It's like it's like it's all emotional for the bee. It's super weird. I, it, it, okay. It's such a bizarre concept, man versus bee. It's just. Yeah, and if I can if, if if I can think of one actor or somebody who could pull that off, it's yeah, it's probably Rowan Atkinson. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, if you look at the trailer, you might want to see an episode. You'd be like, yeah, I'm intrigued. Uh, only he could pull that shit off, man. Yeah. It's I mean, he's he he is literally the reason why that whole that Mr. Bean took off. Everyone thought that the, his whole series nothing was going to happen with it. Really, yo, Mr. Bean is like such a. How do I say it? It's like a comfort thing now. Yeah. Like, like I put it on to remind myself of, you know, the before times. <laughs> Comedy was, was good. Before Bills, before the Rona. The Rona. <laughs> before before the isms. Before the Rona. Uh, yeah. But have, have you seen... Uh... It's all red dead. <laughs> or the Rona. Hang on, I want to see something because I, I heard... I feel like he has to be in a bar when he's saying that too. Like pour, pouring like a glass of scotch or something or a glass of whiskey. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my wife? Holy shit, it's true. <laughs> Back so, in 96. Callisto Protocol. <laughs> that Rhoda came see. into town, took everybody. <laughs> yeah, dude, Callisto Protocol? 38%. <laughs> Thirty-eight percent. Thirty-eight percent on Steam. Oh, most I heard reviews. I, yeah, no, I heard it because uh, the PC port was bad. Like yeah, apparently, PS Five is fantastic. Xbox and apparently, well, definitely uh, really? PC. Apparently, Xbox are like all God fucked. Every single complaint that I'm seeing right now is stuttering, stuttering, stuttering issues. Optimized, yeah. optimized stuttering. Yeah, PC completely okay. got trashed. <laughs> the stutter PS5. protocol. <laughs> the stutter. Well, now I feel like it. Like that kind of sucks because I picked it up on PC. I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll play it. Oh, on PC. You got it. Yeah, I got. You're it. one of those. You, you're one of those people, man. I'm telling you, you. The gaming industry sucks because of you. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Should have at least the waited PC. a month. <laughs> no a, shit. A day, man. A something. When did it come out today? <laughs> you ruined all our yeah, lives. You ruined it. <laughs> This is the guy that bought fucking Cyberpunk, and he won't admit that it sucks. Oh, you son of a bitch. You bought <laughs> Cyberpunk? You wanted to see Keanu Reeves, didn't you? He bought The Maybe. Last of Us 2. You son you, of a bitch. He bought The Last of Us Black. 2, just for sure. Did you finish it? No, I didn't even finish it. There you go. <laughs> I, was, I think I don't even know if I got halfway through it. Oh, the shame. The shame yeah. in the chente. <laughs> I, I still feel like I want I want us to keep going through the, through like with a stream of just like making fun of the actual game, but that's about it. <laughs> Because it, se it seemed like the fun thing to do at the time, because it was just you know, a complete and total letdown. <laughs> it's just like, yo, who's this buff dude beating up these chicks? That's a chick beating up a chick. It's just a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, Rainbow Six is on sale, if anybody wants to pick it up. It's 10 bucks. Peach. Yeah, PT. I have it. PT has it. Touches. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, and I heard that, uh, what's his name? Um, I have no idea what it is. I'm going to try to look it up right now, but Hideo Kojima is apparently oh, announcing okay. his new game next week. Really? Yep. I don't know. I, I'm always a sucker for his games. I didn't play Walking Simulator, but, <laughs> but I still want to give it a shot. Sure. You, you know, for, it's, it's not bad. The game is, it, it is a little bit boring for the first, probably the first half, I would have to say. Just because again, it's it's walking simulator, but once you actually start exploring the world and there's actual some actual threats start coming your way, that's that's where the game kind of opens up and it gets more fun. 
Nice. But how? But yeah, it does take a little bit. But the the game really like uh, it has like a heavy emphasis on inertia, right? Yeah. Like, like the way you lean, the way you move, the way you the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's some ways you can traverse around, but honestly, like once you once you get to the point where you can start either like it's best to play the game online. It you can play it offline. You don't have to, but if you play it online, there's like a lot of other stuff that because uh, you're kind of synced up with everybody else who's playing it online but you don't see any other players everyone's just kind of oh. slowly building up this world around you okay yeah you're trying to help you're trying to help other people out at the same time and you get access to some of their vehicles that they leave behind in some storage places or you can build up your own once you start getting to vehicles like traversal is probably 90 percent almost like pretty easy there's just some places where it gets a bit of a pain in the ass okay and uh but besides that, like, like to me, like the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Ooh, yeah. yeah was, I would so, love to see that back. They're they're they're, they're remaking it, though. What, what? What do you mean? They're remastered. Because, they're, they're they're remaking them or remastering one, two, and three. Oh really? Yeah. Obviously, four is not getting anything, and it's the fucking one I want. But you can only play it on PS3. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, no, but they're remaking uh, Metal Gear One, Two, Metal Gear Solid One, Two, and Three. Um, huh. Konami announced that obviously not Kojima um, yeah. I guess they realized that their pachinko, pachinko machines only take him so far <laughs> well, probably you know that probably because of COVID and no one being at a casino to play them so yeah ooh that must have hit them hard well I'm sure, yeah. I'm, sure I'm sure they developed some fucking apps <laughs> to do that shit for people yeah but how many like their revenue was probably literally a bunch of old people showing up to a ca casino <laughs> to actually play like these random games. Like, oh, look at all the lights. No one has any clue who Snake is. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> you know, Snake. Oh hell! <laughs> everyone, there was there was this thing where everyone thought that they were remastering or remaking Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater because yeah. Konami released these crazy ass good looking pictures of the game. We're like, holy fuck, they're doing it! Ooh, this, I would actually love that. This was yeah. years ago. Snake Eater was fantastic. Oh yeah. And, and this with was, all the yeah. jungle and foliage and shit on PS5. Yeah. Oh my what? god. And this was years ago this happened, right? <laughs> You'll be easily be able to spot that old man, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so this happened years ago, oh and god. straight up, they zoomed out. It was a fucking pachinko machine themed after Metal Gear Solid 3. Wow. Seriously. Really? Wow. I was like, wow. no way they did that. The ripoff. Wow. They did that. They did, yo, they did <laughs> Kojima dirty in that one, man. Oh, oh. my god. I, oh. I, well, obviously Kojima at this point is pretty much laughing his ass off because he made what he made well, again. What, what the hell is that game called? What we were just talking about, Walking Simulator. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of the game. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Because I know what you're I do know what you're talking about, but I very much forgot it exists. Uh, Death Stranding. No, it's, well, yeah. yeah, there was definitely a Stranding. Yeah, he... it. <laughs> <laughs> but he made that one game, and it just kind of reinforced the fact that he was Konami. Oh, it was at least awful. a good portion of it. They should have just stuck to the Silent Hill part. Yeah. Everybody wanted to play that PT game. Oh, Everybody, God. especially with Norman Reedus in it. Why is Norman Reedus running around in a dumb-looking mailman suit? And it has like, a baby strapped to his belly. <laughs> Why does he have a baby strapped to his bed? He's not Matt. <laughs> He's gonna be the like the running I'm joke telling you, in the stream. If this if this stream and everything blows up, we could still literally sell t-shirts that says at least it's not Matt. <laughs> oh, we're um, gonna own royalty or something, man. <laughs> who's Matt? Don't worry about it. <laughs> You know, you know, you know what would be the worst part too is he would he would have zero problem with that because he just he's just such a sponge on life. Uh, and he would be like, "Oh, look, I get royalties for doing nothing. All you guys would just name drop me. Sure, I'll take." Oh you. no, he would make that stupid look on his face where his eyes get super buggy and his mouth is all like it literally turns into an anime where it's like a line when he doesn't say anything and then a massive fucking oval when he talks. <laughs> like, remember when he got mad and you guys were arguing and he looked like an anime and I laughed very hard? It's because. Yeah. 
he looks like a doofus. So basically what would happen is that he'll he'll think that he's entitled to royalties because we said Matt. And he put it together that he thinks he's a moron. You know, he, uh, we think he's a moron and everything. But in actual reality, he'll get nothing because Matt is a broad spectrum of a name and he's a broad spectrum of stupidity. No, he'll get nothing, but he'll know we're talking about him every time. And then he'll go, oh, I'm being talked about on this fucking podcast. Looking like an entire moron. And that's Matt. Fuck that kid. Yeah, the hatred is strong right now, man. I'm saying. Oh, oh if I were, if I, if I had the force right now, I'd be able to crack planets with how much I just don't like him alone. <laughs> oh my Fuck Star Killer Base. I just need hatred. <laughs> <laughs> the hatred is strong with this one. I shut up, Matt. Crap. <laughs> Like, oh, there goes Alderaan. <laughs> Just because of that. <laughs> so, out of way. Man. That just looks like Yoda, except, I don't know, upside down. I don't know how that works. Just imagine Yoda upside down, but you, looking like you, Matt. I'm sure it'll look gross. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it'll be a robe. I'm like, sure he'll be a sponge. <laughs> you know, you just indirectly said that someone's face looks like the bottom of Yoda's feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn is it because they have the same amount of toes <laughs> a toe you lost <laughs> like... <laughs> Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that's horrible i would normally feel bad for somebody losing a toe <laughs> but this guy a is not a somebody and b like it's, it's entirely his fault he cut his foot we all warned him he said mm. fuck y'all decided to walk in sewage for a year and then, and then on christmas eve gets his toe amputated congratulations merry christmas there's your present <laughs> <laughs> this is my god Ugh. no enough no <laughs> that's stranding that's Stranding, Norman Reedus. It should have been, should have been BT. It should have been that base game. <laughs> the, the natural segue back, right? It's like, it's... <laughs> Man, uh, but uh, but anyways, I, I, I'm 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 super psyched to see what Konami would Kojima would have to. You <laughs> think we can do this now? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone so, like, you know, wound up about <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyways, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hybrid. Hybrid. We got to do something about this, man. We're, I, I, think I, I think I'm going to reach out. About... I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to have to reach out to yes. him and bring him on here, man. Try to fix this. No. Ooh, no, you don't want to do that. Turn this into like a... <laughs> if you think I'm mad... You should have seen the other guy, right above, right to the right, right there. This blue shirt and his blue background. <laughs> this guy right here. I rant, but you should see this guy. <laughs> like if you think his face is red now. <laughs> oh, bananas is saying that the cat is the star of our show. By the way, yeah, that's great. I can't yeah, wait she, to... she keeps making, like I see random cameos of your cat, like just chilling in the background by your bookcase. Like... Yeah, I can't wait to take that cat to Chinatown and show it what it's what. <laughs> I'm one of those people, man. That I'll be like, yeah. sure, the fat guy's about to say something gross, but <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people where, yeah, if you want, if, if somebody cook cat, you know, I, and like I'm in a foreign country, and they're like, you want to try cat? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll try cat. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> it's perfect. There you go, <laughs> man. Uh, you guys, but are why would big... you cook your cat though? It's not for me. It's to feed the people in Chinatown. Oh, that's very great. That's generous of you. Yeah. Despite, you know, okay, still, given what's going on in China, I'm sure they're sending all the resources back there, so. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I'm just not aware of the context, so I was just wondering why your cat specifically. But apparently your cat has a superpower to feed entire China, so I'm very, very appreciative of your like, Not only does my cat, ha like, have that power, but it has a it has a, a sister that can go with it, so it's, you know, it's oh. more for everybody. Two for one, nice. <laughs> um, I, You guys are not a big fan of the Video Games Awards, are you? I don't think so, eh? Um... Not sure, entirely, but it is interesting to hear. Yeah, like I, I remember I got into it when Jeff Keighley took over, and um, I, I, I like the presentation of it now. It's like it's borderline professional. It's not cringy like it used to be before. Oh, you that's know? a lot of years of cringe. Was that? I said that's a lot of years of cringe. No, it is a shit ton of years of cringe where I didn't give a yeah. crap. I would just wait for like you know a blog post <laughs> to see who the winners were. <laughs> but. 
<laughs> but now I'm down. Like now I'll fucking watch it and shit. And uh, I remember I think it was the 2018 one where the um, Nintendo presented the new Smash Brothers or something. And the the intro that they made for it, like at the, like with the orchestra and everything, it was it blew me away. Like it's an actual nice. show now. And December mm. December eighth is going to be the next uh, video game awards for 2022. And um, yeah, you want to hear the uh, nominees for game of the year? So we got uh, Xenoblade Chronicles three. Never played it. I. <laughs> It was a good series. It was more of a JRPG, I think, action-based JRPG. Oh, so it's something you guys would have dabbled in, maybe? Oh, yeah, probably. Pro- more back in the day. Yeah, I haven't, gotten around, I've, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Honestly, I haven't gotten around to playing like much RPG. Are you trying to say, like, I grew up. Of, like, Elden Ring. <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> uh, next one is Stray. You already know my opinion on cats. Oh, so my God. Don't give two shits about that game. But... I... I don't know much about it. I only saw the trailer, and it did look kind of neat. But only because, oh, well, it's kind of neat to see that they actually made a game about a cat. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> play. It's groundbreaking. I'll but, play yeah, when what? they lower the price tag. I ain't paying full price for that. Did you say sorry? I'll play when oh, they sorry, lower the price tag. Oh, know. sorry, PT. What did you say? <laughs> oh, I said I apparently wasn't that bad of a game. I heard. I'll see if it's if it's if it's on the nominees. But yeah, no, I heard. Yeah. I don't, just, know. I don't know. Personally, I don't know the appeal, but then I could also be pleasantly surprised, right? To I me, also thought Mickey Mouse was a dumb video game and it ended up being fantastic. Like, to it's me, like, Stray being on this list for Game of the Year is the same thing as Black Panther being nominated as Best Film of the Year at the Oscars. We all know what that was for. So, anyways. I, I don't know. Science. I. I, 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 I... <laughs> Oh. I, I guess I kind of have to disagree with that because well oh you think Black disagree. Panther deserved to be nominated for uh, oh no I, 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 I disagree with really? the, the comparison I don't really disagree with with what you're saying about it being the best film I, I kind of I definitely agree with that part but yeah. I, I don't know I, <laughs> Stray just seemed like it was a fun weird game and yeah it had to do with a cat but I guess it depends on how the story actually played out in there but yeah no the, the Black Panther just there was a lot of hype for a mediocre movie. Yeah, too much. Really, but uh, to, and, and to be fair, that, oh wow, to your point, I haven't played straight, so I got to give it a shot before I say something like that. So agreed. Yeah. Uh, next up is Horizon Forbidden West. I really want to play it. I, I had a lot of fun with it. I love the first one. I still have yet to finish it, but I'm, I'm I'm still having quite a bit of fun with it. It's it's a lot better. They they really fine tune a lot more of the the combat, the uh, the level That's up good. system. It's. It's a lot, but it's it, it plays out a lot better. That's good. Okay, wait, I gotta ask PT a question. What? Um, what was the last game you finished? Because every time I hear you play a game, like I didn't finish this, I didn't finish that. I didn't finish I, the last game I probably finished was Ghost of Tsushima. Oh dang! Oh wow! Okay, yeah. that, that that was that was a great one though. Wait, no, yeah, did, did you finish Elder Ring? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay. You, you just, you, your yeah, list of unfinished games is very long. <laughs> it's just yeah, apparently. I just like I so, believe me. There's like you see this whole stack of PS2 games. I think I've completed maybe half to about three quarters. There's a there's a couple of them that are sitting on there that I still have yet to go through. Uh, and then I'm just like it's like oh yeah, I finally got this collection. I'm gonna play through it because I played through the first one. I want to play the second one. And then other games kept on co- coming up, and <laughs> they got put on the back burner, and now they're just sitting here just collecting dust for anybody under the age of 30 this is what gaming is in your 30s it's like, it's just, it's just, this is what it turns into like, it's, like no. it's, it's, oh. it's like my steam library like i have like a, I, I don't know how many games i have on there now i think i have like 100 ga- excuse me 100 games 150 games and i've probably played like a grand total of 10 Nice, that's a good oh, tracker. Wow, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's... okay. Maybe maybe I'm I'm probably overestimating. <laughs> that's that's ten percent. Overestimating. <laughs> no, it's more like two. <laughs> I'm just waiting for your girl to barge in there and bash you on the back of the head. It's like uh, some of them were just like like uh, what was it? Collections that uh, that were sold is like here buy this uh, Konami collection for eighty dollars. Like okay, it comes with a bunch of games. There's a couple of them I want to play, and it comes with a bunch of other ones. Might as well get it. Mm-hmm. So it was all these Steam sales that came around the time, and yeah, 
Outside of that, just never got around to play them. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a good chunk that I haven't played. I, I, I fell into the trap of purchasing a lot of old favorites that I already played and finished in the past on Steam. Yep. Um, but anything new that I buy on Steam, I pretty much finish it. So, But, like, I'll buy an old game, play it for, like, an hour, and be like, yeah, I guess it was great back then. And then I just turn it off. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nostalgia sucks. So, so uh, Horizon Forbidden West next up is God of War. Ragnarok, yep. obviously. Everyone knew that I was going to get nominated. Yeah, uh, probably. After that, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. I did not play this. I want to play this. But I'm I'm terrified I don't have the time to play this. You don't have to dedicate too, too much time. But, like, it, it is it is quite a bit of fun. If you like a game where there's, there's a, a good amount of a challenge and the whole get good kind of mentality to it, yeah, you have to play Elden Ring. <laughs> get good. <laughs> Oh, uh, Elden Ring. Yeah. Did you play it? Only a little bit. Ooh, I did. got, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I got my ass stomped by that dude on the horse in the middle of the heavy everything. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the starting guy that everyone's like, oh, I'm going to see what happens when yep. I fight him, and then everybody died to him? Yep. You know what the yeah. annoying part is that I almost killed him, and then he one-shot me. Oh, yeah, that that's... He that, knocked that's me off my horse. horse. My horse went, eh. <laughs> 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 and then I went, eh. <laughs> and then he... One shot me. It's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And last but not least, uh, a plague's tale, a plague tale requiem. Um, I'm actually, I actually bought this and I'm playing it. A I'm plague halfway tale through it. Requiem. Uh, man, it's good. I didn't, I haven't played either of them, but I remember seeing you play. It seemed like you, you enjoyed it quite pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely linear. Um, heavy on single player. Imagine mm. God of War Ragnarok, but there's no multiple paths. <laughs> it's just, it's okay. just a straight line. That's what it is, honestly. I, I, I know, I know. But uh, it's just the story, the graphics, the music, the, the fighting mechanics. Um, and it has a very big stealth element to it, which obviously I enjoy. Um, mm. But uh, I, I just think it's a fantastic game, and it's so good. And for like a, an indie studio to come out with a game like that, again, in such a short amount of time, I'm, I'm impressed. I think it's great. Um, and I would recommend it to anyone to give it a shot, but just make sure you're in for like a a super linear game single player though. <laughs> That's fine. This game is so linear. It, it, it's a type of game where you're, you're like, you know, when you have a progression tree it's like to upgrade your character and you know that by the end of the game you're going to get everything. It's that kind of game. What's it? Okay. So, so yeah. And those <laughs> are the games of the year. I think it's going to, I think it's going to fall down to, I honestly think it's going to fall down between Elden Ring and oh, God of War. God of War. Mm. I, for me personally, it's between Elden Ring, even though I haven't played it, and A Plague's Tale. But I, I think okay. it's going to be between Elden Ring and God of War. Easily. You're not a fan I mean, of God of War? I am. Huge fan of God of War. Okay. Big fan of God of War. Um, and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, but me personally, I prefer 2018 nice. a lot more. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and the game. I remember last year I streamed it, the Game Awards, and I will probably stream it again this year on December eighth. Just live react to it. It's at seven thirty p.m., so I'm down to check it out. I don't. know Will you be uh, available on the eighth? Uh, December. Yeah, it's next Thursday. That should be. Yeah. What was? Oh wait, are we doing something? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We were, were we supposed to grab food? Something like that. But no, that was gonna be on the Friday. It was gonna be on the, yeah, it was supposed to be on the Friday. Oops! Oh my god! I don't know why that's so funny, but there it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, they have a category. Okay, this is. Mm, I'm not gonna like this. New category: oh. best mobile game. It's between. Uh, honestly, every single time I've. I must have downloaded a bunch of mobile games and I'll play through them and all of them now have the same kind of mechanic, the same kind of build, just some slightly different like little <laughs> tweaks or stuff that they do. That's you know, not you're awesome. some kind of, Oh yeah. It's just, <laughs> there's barely any change. They all have that whole what's it that's either either you pay into some kind of monthly thing where you where you unlock stuff or you just grind through the game a lot and hopefully unlock some mediocre stuff. Well, games like Genshin Impact and Call of Duty Mobile, Apex Mobile, they all yeah. have that crap, like Season Passes and all that crap. Yeah, that's that's what I was, that's what I was looking for, Season Pass. Yeah. 
Kind that, of that's that's the, that's what they all have now. Oh, Diablo huh. Diablo Immortal was nominated. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Hey, they got something right. Don't you have phones? <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh my God. best mobile game. I can't believe that. What else do they have? Best sim strategy game. Best sports racing game. Content creator of the year. Wow. That's but like on Twitch, I guess. Or it's either gonna be on Twitch or or hopefully it's across like multiple platforms. Content. What <laughs> best esports game? Best esports athlete? Best esports team? Athlete. Best esports coach? <laughs> best esports? Jesus. Damn man. I, 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 I think I think you're kind of stretching to hit the two hour mark on your show there. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, I'm curious. To see content creator of the year. Who's best like who's athlete. nominated? I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Holy shit. Is, is disrespect on there? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> but I don't know any of these people. Man. There's a guy named Carl Jacobs. Okay. There's a guy named Ludwig. He's uh, probably a Mario guy. Nibelian? Nibelian? Uh, Nobru? And... QT Cinderella. Oh, that's I have, cute. I have no idea who any of these people are. They these have yeah, to be they, Twitch streamers. Yeah, the only one I know there I think is Ludwig, and I think that's I think he does Mario stuff. I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh man. Who? Uh, but yeah. I, I just feel like whenever whenever someone's famous on Twitch, like nobody knows who they are. <laughs> and yeah, when someone's bro, famous I'm on YouTube, everybody right now, knows bro. who they are. <laughs> Huh? But, but like, what happened to people like Ninja and Disrespect and didn't Ninja was Tifu? He dipped, no Ninja. He's gone, no. Is he? I thought he left Twitch. I mean, I don't know about tw- I, I just meant content creators mm. in general. But like, those are like the, the names that everybody knows. Ooh, I think it was a I think it was a harsh year for fighting games. <laughs> so so well, uh, probably <laughs> nominees for fighting games, DNF Duel. What? DNF tool. Did not finish. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm gonna chalk that into the games I didn't finish because I didn't know I had to finish it. <laughs> um, DNF tool. Next up is JoJo Bizarre's Adventure All Star Battle. Uh, you know, I actually I I didn't really hear about that until recently, and it seemed like it was I, a fun fighter. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it, bad. It, it gives, yeah. Oh, so the, the, it's probably a lot of their other games then, like <laughs> like Naruto and Dragon Ball, and then their like what was it? Their collage of every anime all together in one game. <laughs> collage of all the anime. <laughs> am I, am I reading this? <laughs> Name a game. I don't know. The collage of all the anime. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a couple of anime shows, put them all together, and Man, I love that game. And there's my so, favorite game. There's a game called it's The King my... of Fighters. I've played a game I love so much. Oh, yeah, King of Fighters. Uh, that, that's been around for a long time. King of Fighters 15. Jesus. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're all like Street Fighter, where they have like 20 versions of two. Yeah. Turbo and Ultra and Super Mega. Turbo and... Ultra. Turbo <laughs> Ultra Megaplex. Turbo... <laughs> uh, there's a game called oh. Multiverses. Multiverse Us? Multiverse Us, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, all the like WB Brahala. characters. Yeah, Brahala, I see. Uh... Like Brahala meets uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. yeah. And Sifu. I didn't know Sifu was a fighting game. Kind of. Like, I think Def Jammy. Like I, 3D. I thought Sifu was I a single player remember. game. It oh. is. Oh, okay. I guess just more the the style of it. Now I'm looking it up. That's the one where like you're 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 a dude, you fight people, if you die you come back like ten or fifteen years older or something like that. Jesus. <laughs> that's our <harsh>. shit. <laughs> now that's a bizarre adventure. A little bit, yeah. Is there is there like a best shooter or something? I'm a, I'm a shooting guy. I like my bullets. Bullets flying. No, there's no best shooter. What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay, so it's best action game. 
Oh, okay. damn. Best action game is going to be nice toss-up. You got Bayonetta 3. Uh, There's Ma- Bayonetta 3? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Modern Warfare 2. Sifu. Uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Nice. And something called Neon White. Not sure what that is. I I feel like like it's I want to say like Shredder's Revenge just because you know fan, but I don't mm. see that happening. Nah, I I can see Sifu and I I didn't hear what what was the other ones you said. Uh, oh, Modern Warfare Two. Really? Yeah. Adventure game, action game? You said action game? Yeah. I didn't see I didn't see a, a okay. t- I didn't see a title for shooters. Okay. I, mean, I guess I, I don't know how much. Uh, it, it, I mean, there, there's a lot of action in in, uh, in COD. There's just mm-hmm. I w- uh, for some reason I wasn't thinking that in an action game. But okay, cool. Yeah, hmm. and apparently um, Ed Boon from Netherrealm, Mortal Kombat dude. Uh, yeah. ev- everyone's expecting a big announcement from them at the Game Awards. Oh. Um, but nice. I think I read uh, I read that he's not. Um, they're not. They they said like we're not announcing anything at the, the Game Awards. Sorry, uh, the only thing you guys are getting is uh, Mortal Kombat Onslaught. Mortal Kombat Onslaught. Yeah. What the hell is Mortal Kombat Onslaught? No, you play it on your phone. No, goddamn it. <laughs> Sweet, what an onslaught. <laughs> I I remember for a while there was a Mortal Kombat game that I was playing on my phone where you have to like collect your cards and build up your characters and stuff. And yeah, I, yeah. I honestly, oh, I actually justice. got into it. I didn't put a cent into it, and I had like the, I, I like by pure luck, I had this cracked Sub Zero that would defeat everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. I'm winning all the games. People accusing me of paying to win. I'm like, I didn't put a cent in this, man. <laughs> it's got really lucky. I got got st- Sub Zero. Yeah, stupid lucky apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. It's pretty much, it's pretty much it. That's all the research that I had. That's all I had done. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? That's all the effort I put into this. Now leave me alone. <laughs> I'm done here. <laughs> <laughs> DV out. Done. Just sick of these motherfuckers. Oh, I saw the trailer for the new Mario movie. That, I heard it was good. 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 I haven't seen it though, but I heard it was good. It does look good. It looks and it sounds looks, great. Yeah, it looks and sounds great. I did. I didn't know how Chris Pratt was gonna sound, like how he's gonna be as Mario. I didn't. I, 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 I didn't. Feels, trust he him. still feels like Chris Pratt, but there's that whole there's a whole <laughs> Mario Kart scene where you basically see. <laughs> Sorry. <what? laughs> I, just, I just pictured Mario sounding like Chris Pratt. That's all. <laughs> we have to save the Mario kid. Okay, Luigi. Like, no. But I have to see it. I heard it was good, so I'm definitely gonna see it. It's just I'm very used to Mario, and for some reason I thought Chris Pratt was gonna do a Mario impression. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. He does. He does, he, he does do impressions about... though. Oh, yeah. does? Okay, now I have to look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah, he does. He does like the Matra. wahoo and all that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. What, that, that's what I was gonna say. The whole the whole Mario Kart scene where you see him like driving around, he screams out wahoo, and it actually sounds pretty uh-huh. damn good. Okay, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at yeah. right now. It does. It, it, it looks good. I, I know a lot of people are like, "Yo, why is <laughs> why why does Mario look like a fucking idiot and Peach looks like you know a Mary Sue?" But but uh, yeah, you know what? I feel like we've been uh, booty, we've, we've been playing this card so often, where you know you you see the trailer, you see the red flags, and you're like I'm not giving this movie a chance, and that's kind of happening with Mario in the sense like how you're seeing the red flags, but I don't want to acknowledge them because. This is a Nintendo property. I don't think Japan's gonna let that shit yeah, but, happen. Yeah, but even even in yeah, that's what I was gonna say though. Even uh, Princess Peach and a lot of the other RPG games, she actually does fight. Uh, oh, she's badass. She, <laughs> yeah, like she's literally pummeling the shit out of people with uh, what's it, her parasol or a frying pan or just chucking shit at people. Like all the stuff that she was doing in Smash Bros was taken all taken from either Princess the RPGs or weapon. Mario Two. Her weapon of choice is a frying pan. Yep. <laughs> Her ultimate weapon in Super Mario All Stars was a frying pan. Nice, I, b- I believe. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't like a fucking I don't know, a cake dispenser. All that bitch did was make a cake for Mario. She never gave him the goods. Damn it! <laughs> After all that work, 
I remember it at the end of Mario 64 when mm-hmm. he finished it and she gave me a kiss on the nose. She's like, let's bake him a cake. I'm like, oh, fuck, bitch, that's it? <laughs> I was like, all this? All I get is a damn cake? But, but yeah. No, but the, 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 I'm, I'm excited for it, honestly. I think it's going to be a great movie. Hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, can't say the same for the other movies I named earlier. Indy 5? Ooh, just leave it alone. Let it yeah, die. I'm... I'm... Let it die. Just let it die. I, I want to see it just to see where it's going. The fourth one wasn't... Mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of people are like, there was no fourth one. There was just, you know, the first three, and that was it. <laughs> uh, you know what? In the fourth one, I really liked the jungle car chase scene. That was It was well made, to be honest. Yeah. You know, but apart from that, I didn't give a shit about the rest of the movie. And I don't remember it that well. Um, I don't, I'm, You know, like, uh, I was watching a, a reviewer. Uh, his name is Jeremy Johns on YouTube. I love mm-hmm. it. I, I love his reviews. He's he's so accurate and fair. What is it like? He doesn't let anything muddy his review and his opinion of the movie. And to be honest, I see I see eye to eye a lot with uh, what he thinks about. And um... <laughs> sorry, you heard the wahoo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wahoo! <laughs> wahoo! <laughs> you have to admit it was accurate though. It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay, I get. Okay, I get the take. I have to just have to get over the whole fake Italian thing going. <laughs> yeah. Um, sh- oh, sh- man. Yo, Luigi is spot on. Oh, yeah. The oh. Bowser's pretty good. Good job. Yeah, Jack Black. You know what? For some reason, I, I didn't... Like, obviously, I know it's Jack Black, but he keeps reminding me of Pete from uh, Mickey Mouse. The way he he's does. doing Bowser, yeah. he sounded exactly like Pete. Yeah, but it yeah. fits so well. It does. It really, really does. It fits so well. Like I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Except Peach. I'm not super impressed with Peach. Mm-hmm. But I just have to look who it is. Man, uh, but oh. I, I think it's gonna be a, a, such a good movie. I, I love the end title of the trailer, where it's like the old Mario sixty four, like you know, font and colors and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's it's just. Oh man. They know exactly what to do to pull on those nostalgia strings, man. Oh yeah. yeah. It was so yeah, good. Nintendo's pretty Even damn good. Even ah ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Even adds that. Like, obviously, it's not like Mario sounding like the game. Mm. It's still pretty good. It's Chris Pratt being Mario. Okay, okay. I'm sold. There if it go. sucks, I'm going to rage, though. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen how he rages. <laughs> <laughs> going to take bring a lighter? <laughs> going to bring. Oh. I feel like you're gonna you're gonna do that whole scene from Family Guy where Stewie watches the Bewitched movie and then he's, <laughs> yeah. he he takes the plane and goes all the way to Will Ferrell's. He buys he buys a step ladder. <laughs> it's like okay, the first thing I was thinking is like taking a lighter and like I don't know, I don't know why WD forty, but something like a spray, and like pretending to shoot fireballs like in Mario. <laughs> while screaming out pluck <laughs> pluck 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 <laughs> and for breeze there you go that'll work there you go oh my gosh but yeah are flaming the entire house going yahoo it's just setting the entire director's house on fire oh <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but no, it looks it looks great. Yeah, no, I'm. Oh, uh, Rainbow Road. I'm Jeez. hyped. Yeah, I'm hyped for it. Totally. I'm. I'm surprised. I want to the... see that. Now I want to see that Mario Kart race. No <laughs> kidding. Like, not, not, I'm surprised that the two trailers that I saw that I'm most hyped for are Transformers and Mario, like heavily CGI movies. I'm surprised. You know. I'm actually thoroughly thoroughly glad that Donkey Kong kicked the shit out of Mario so easy. Grab <laughs> easily smacks around. <laughs> Big smile on his face. I'm glad that happened. I'm glad because, like you know, in the games, he like Mario's easily giant swing Bowser. So you would expect Mario to be strong, right? Mm. By the by those standards, but no, this one he just got his ass kicked by an ape. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was gonna be like this big epic trailer. No, nope, just. Grabs by the face, beat the crap out of him. That's it. He gets Hulk Loki'd. It was fantastic. Everything is so spot on. I love it. <laughs> I, I also don't know if you noticed, but Luigi is kind of running around like a like Luigi from Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, like leaning like back. And... 
Well, it looks like he actually has a little ghost, like his little ghost vacuum thing that he has in the <laughs> that, that mm-hmm. game. Like, yeah, yeah. Man, was that Tanuki? Is that... Tanuki Mario, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it is Tanuki Mario. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I didn't play any of the new ones. He flies like tails. What, what did you say that? Uh... I said like because looking at the trailer, and you see it, like when he's flying with the suit. It looks mm-hmm. like tails because, like, it's a uh, propeller. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, in the game, it just kind of goes up and down, right? You yeah. know, I, I think. And he kind of has, like, this little posture pose. I think we're starting to enter the generation that's going to make positive video game movies. I mean, I so- so. Sonics aren't. They're not amazing movies, but they're good movies, to be honest. Sonic yeah. 1 is Sonic I haven't 2. seen the second one, but I did like the first one. Yeah. And Jim uh, Carrey was if you hilarious. like the first one, the second one is, is even better, dude. Jim Carrey was hilarious. <laughs> he was. He's really good at it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Adds him his milk. Of course I do. I love the way you make them. Why is he so bad? <laughs> <laughs> and um, the Mario movie is another good example of what's, co- what's to come. Um, and I don't know. Oh, I'm... there's uh, Detective Pikachu too. No. Oh yeah, that was I didn't see really that. Good. Yeah, I saw it. It was not bad. And uh, it, was, I... it was great because it was like Ryan Reynolds who plays Pikachu, but like everybody else obviously sees him say Pikachu with the Pika P and all that crap. So it's oh. kind of like a good, good and... mix on why he talks. But you know, there was that other good. one with Ryan Reynolds called uh, Fall Guy. Was it Fall Guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was really good. That was surprisingly good. Like I enjoyed that. You know. Um, I th- I think video game movies are going to be like the next maybe a tiny wave of comic book movies. Like people are going to start seeing those coming out because you know you have the Last of Us TV show coming out that is mm. is honestly quite hyped up. Oh, Free Guy, I think. What's it's that? Free Guy. Yeah, oh, it's free, yeah, free Guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, Free Guy. Sorry, Free Guy, not Fall Guy. They're like in an MMO or something. Yeah, and uh, you have the Last of Us. Uh, Sony announced that they're making a they want to make a God of War TV show. Um, okay. With HBO. So, yeah. I mean, I guess uh Uncharted was shit. The Uncharted movie was <laughs> absolute dog shit. And oh my god. I don't know why the fuck they picked Mark Wahlberg to be Sully, but that makes no sense to me. I could understand yeah, that, wanting I don't, I don't feel like any of the cast really made sense. No, I none of them like, made sense. Ah, if Nathan Fillion wasn't his age, he would have been great. Oh yeah. You know what the funny thing is when they announced that uh, yeah. Tom Holland was going to play uh, uh, Nathan Drake in Uncharted, yeah. the movie. Uh, Nathan Fillion made his own mini movie, eh? Yeah. And released it on really? YouTube, and it was really good. Yeah, because his character, pro- like, yeah, what was that show? Firefly. Yeah. And Ser- Serendipity? Serenity? Yeah. Serendipity. Yeah. <laughs> Serendipity? <laughs> Serenity? I don't know. S word? <laughs> he likes the rom coms. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, his like just his character is very Nathan Nathan Drake, right? In in Firefly, yeah, I didn't see Serenity though. No, no, I was uh, asking the character on Uncharted. What was his name? Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he would have made an awesome Nathan Drake. Tom Holland, not as much because Tom Holland has like the visage of a thirteen-year-old boy. So like, I can't really take him seriously as a grown-ass adult. No, I can't. Well, and, At least in my I, opinion. And to be honest, comic book movies have done something. I don't know if it's just to me or in general, but I no longer see an actor. Oh, no, that's fair. Oh, I only find it in the Marvel Universe. In DC, I always find it's the actor just wearing a costume. True. I could, like, I could see Marvel Henry Cavill so doing something else. That, like, you know, Tony, Tony Stark. Uh, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is basically Tony Stark. Like, everyone yeah. sees... Thor and Captain America, Black Widow, blah blah blah. But like in the DCU, it's just Mark ha- Mark uh, Henry Cavill as Superman, Ben Affleck as Batman, yeah. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. They don't really have the character, and you forget they're an actor. You're like, it's an actor playing a character. Like, do you really see The Rock being a Black Adam? I started watching it and The Rock, Black Adam, <laughs> Black like Black. If you follow any of the Black Adam lore, like the comics, the show, whatever, it's always like a big dude. Obviously, yep. it's very surly looking with the receding hairline and occasionally elf ears. Like, <laughs> and then you see The Rock, who looks like The Rock in every The Rock. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I'm surprised he didn't, like, lift his eyebrow and give him, like, a massive thunderous rock bottom with lightning, followed by a people's <laughs> elbow ran by half across the world. Like, like uh, The Rock always plays The Rock in every role. Like, okay, yeah. almost every role. So yeah. I assumed that it was the same for Black Adam, and then I heard people basically say The Rock plays The Rock as Black Adam. So I'm not really convinced that the DCU has actors who could really fit the role outside of outside of Superman, to be fair. Because, like, I find Henry Cavill, like, he's he's a good actor. In general. Oh, he's like, super versatile. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. The Witcher, Mission Impossible, obviously yep. Superman. Like, he Wait, plays he those roles. Impossible? Yeah. Mission Impossible 5, I think it was? Uh, like oh, the... damn. Dude, he reloads his yeah. fists. <laughs> yeah. <at one> point. <laughs> Is the fist oh, reloaded? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cock loaded. <laughs> like, he, just, like, he just gets in there. Yeah, and he had a mustache. That was why Justice League's, uh, the original Justice League movie had like weird scenes. <laughs> yeah. That's why he had a booty lip in the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what, that movie and some other movie? But yeah, he had a mustache. Man. So yeah, like he fits Superman, but like Ben Affleck as Batman, like I liked Batman in Batman v Superman. And I like Batman. But it's Ben Affleck. Every time you see Ben Affleck, you're like, fuck that smug looking face. And like, <laughs> he's basically Ben Affleck. But I mean, like, I'm like... not saying he's a bad actor. It's just, you notice it. It's not really like, damn, that's Batman. Like, that dude, I forget what that dude's name is. But like, there's a What's guy that? who really fits a Bruce Wayne look. And he's like from hmm. some show. Uh, a Bruce Wayne look. Yeah. What show is that? Suits. Oh, the guy who plays uh, Harvey Specter in Suits. Uh, yeah, I think so. What's his, Do you know what his name is? I don't know his name. I think he's one of the Scars guards. Hold on. Let me find out. Because I could also be thinking of something else. But he does have a very... I am thinking of something else. Very much a Bruce Wayne... <laughs> oh, so it's not it's not Harvey Specter? No, no. Oh, okay. Well, let me find out, but whatever. I just don't. I just. I'm just not convinced about the DCU being convincing. Like Marvel definitely has impact, but like first the not first gen, but you know what I mean. Like the first phase, then game, blah blah blah. No, no, yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is that like the reason why I think Uncharted sucks so much and why I think Tom Holland did not work in the casting at all is because I didn't oh, see Nathan Drake at all. I saw Peter Parker. <laughs> Absolutely, you know? he, was yeah, Peter, yeah, he was Peter Parker cool. everywhere he went. You know, mm, and um, Marvel does a good job of finding actors who can really, you know represent the characters uh that they want to show on screen like Mar like everyone like Mar like you said rob Downey jr is iron man right because iron man yep. tony stark is rob Downey jr or whatever like he goes around in real life talking that way or making those kind of quips and that kind of stuff you know um uh what's his name uh falcon fuck what's the actor's name oh anthony mackie anthony, anthony yeah. mackie yeah to me that's just him again you know he's not really playing a character oh. he's just himself his personality my bad the show is called Mad Men. It's uh, John Hamm. Oh, yeah. John Hamm would make a sick Bruce Wayne, yo. Like a younger yeah, John Hamm? He'd make a he's, shit he's Batman, but a sick Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> well, ben Affleck, like ben Affleck, right? He didn't really do all his Batman stunts. Yeah. He, he just kind of keep him for the solid shots and then have a stunt double. Or Scott, you know who Scott Atkins is? Uh, yeah, the, the fighter, no? Yeah. Yeah. He would have made an excellent Batman. Mm. Like overall, because he has the look. It's just he doesn't have the height. He's like about five ten, I believe. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tom, but it's a movie, right? I'm sure you can get past it. Tom Cruise made... is shorter than that, so they, exactly. They, they can put their magic. <laughs> exactly, but the guy could fight. Like, like he already had. He could do his own stunts in, in Batman fighting scenes when he's fighting actual people. Like, uh, mm -hmm. he would have been an excellent choice. It's I, just I think, I think so. he's also too old or something like that, or maybe just maybe not known enough. He doesn't have, like, the star power to really bring people to be the Batman. Like, the Batman, like, you had Robert Pattinson. Like, you have all these little girls in Matt who want to go see it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I enjoyed the new Batman movie. <laughs> I don't know, though. That's fair. But you know what I mean? Like, you need more star. Like, you could get a more convincing Batman. But star power is what usually brings people to a movie. Absolutely. Like, it's, un it's a little bit unfortunate for us faithful comic or video game realist whatever where you want like the best actor possible but sometimes you'll just get the most known po actor possible but i i think i think marvel <laughs> Mar me. marvel kicked that trend though like they didn't go for star power and i said like when robert Downey jr was cast as iron man he was like you know he wasn't that mm. popular anymore 
Um, no, it's, it's, I, it's, he was still kind of known, but maybe for the wrong reasons. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, and Sherlock Holmes. Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iron Man put him back on the map. Um, Absolutely. What's his name? Chris Hemsworth as Thor. I I, I I couldn't tell you what he did before that. Right? Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I don't the movie, but I never yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Marvel, the Marvel, Marvel definitely got them to where they're at. Like even like a Mark Ruffalo, like you knew him in some stuff, but yeah. you weren't like, damn. Now I know him. <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing. I, I, like Marvel to, to definitely made these people for sure. To me, the the biggest name that they ever got was Benedict Cumberbatch. No. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. probably the biggest. Oh yeah, he was a he was a big. Well, he was Doctor Who. And he, he was, was in the uh, Star Trek movie. He was. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He wasn't Doctor Who, but he was. Oh, uh, he, he was Sherlock. Doctor. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh you're right. right. He was Sherlock. The the, yeah. the the British smart guy there. It's... <laughs> the the other British guy. <laughs> <laughs> the same kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, no. you're right. You're right. But I don't think it's. Um, I was thinking Matt Smith. Okay. Because okay. he's he's also in a bunch of stuff too. If you guys could uh, convert one video game into uh, a movie project or a miniseries, what would it be? Ooh. Or what? Sorry. If you could convert one uh, video game into a uh, a movie project or a miniseries, what would it be? What would you want to see on the screen? Hey, there's a few. <laughs> I've definitely got a few. Hybrid's, hybrid, I, hybrid, hybrid was prepared for this question. He's like, I know. Yeah, I have, st- I have, I have, I like ask, ask PT. I even talk about having superpowers. I am not beyond having any kind of conversation. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I we, I've had conversations. So let's hear. Uh, okay, uh, Dead Space, absolutely. Okay, fair enough. Okay, Dead Space. Would you make it? Would you make with, it a movie with, or a miniseries? Miniseries, nice. because with enough money. <laughs> And enough great CG and practical effects. Actually, to be fair, because I've seen some horror movies that done it well, <clears throat> you need the practical effects and then have CG built over it. So you still have like the realistic movement and everything, everything. But then you have the CG to amplify what their look actually looks like. Absolutely. And you have Dead Space. You have the entire first thing playing like the game plays out with the horror and da 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 da. And you could actually even have Isaac Clark not talk. Because uh... with enough background talk, like everybody else could talk, with enough background talking, and enough like quiet action, suspense, da, 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 and horror and all that crap, you can make a really decent horror series. But you have to take it seriously, and you have to ha- actually have throw money into it for production value. I'm trying to think. Mm. It'll be and then like it'll be super slowly hard. progress where his voice actually comes into play more, or whatever. But you have like the the evolution of knowing Isaac Clarke, the Scientology, the Dead Space, the, Dead Space, the Necromorph outbreak on whatever post that he was at, everything in between. You can have like so much content. It's just that you have to take it seriously because you can't crappily write this. Because unfortunately, Dead Space treads the line between being super serious and taken seriously and bloody ridiculous as fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you underact it, or if you under anything, it's going to be shit. But if you take it way too seriously, it's going to be shit. You know what I mean? But if you You wanted that project to happen (laughs) with Isaac Clarke not speaking, (sighs) like, man, the the writing is going, and the writing and the cinematography Mm. is going to happen. I have, I actually have an example. Quiet Place, no talking. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, There was a cartoon that, what's uh, what's it called? Savage? Primal. There's a cartoon called Primals made by the people who made Samurai Jack. Watch that. Mm-hmm. There's no talking. You could tell so much by facial expressions, by action, by yeah, atmosphere, by everything. You can I, tell so much. That's the thing. Isaac Clark's face is covered up 90% of the time. Exactly. So so that's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to have to... And every time you hear somebody else's voice, like in this, contra- in this contrast, every time you hear somebody's voice, you know that person's fuck. And you're, you're witnessing it as a, like a show. And not like like a show slash whatever whatever, mm-hmm. not like a video game where you kind of like anticipate what's going on because you're the player. You're not watching the show, so you have to go through their roles. You don't know what's going to happen. They could be talking, blah blah. They could last for so long, and then all of a sudden they they croak like TV shows do it all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So no, if you, if you t- like with the right direction, it could be a fantastic show. 
it, and then on the other side, there could be the suffering. The suffering, I think, would make a pretty good. Oh run. my god! You know what? I was I was watching <laughs> gameplay of that today. The suffering of the moment when you turn into this creature uh, when you hit yeah. a certain part. Um, and I didn't know there's a suffering too. There is, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as good. <laughs> it wasn't as good. It was okay at best, but yeah, the suffering one was good. Um, what else? Soul Calibur would make a great anime. Yeah, I can see that. I can't. I can't see it outside of that. Mm-hmm. But definitely an anime. I could definitely see it as a yeah. Really no, really Soul Calibur would make a fantastic anime because animates do all that random bullshit, anyways, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, you're the princess of a star where you finally awakened your powers after, for some reason, being <laughs> unconscious in someone's fetus where all you grew as a little girl, but then somebody unlocked it through kissing you on the forehead because Chris had, like, <laughs> the Chris reference side note is because this man, a grown ass black man, kept watching animes where little girls <laughs> would be made out with. No, no. It would always be like some badass demon chick or a little girl who would for some reason make out with some kid. And it's okay though, because the kid was clearly a middle scorer or whatever, because apparently all this shit always happens to kids. <laughs> Attack on Titan, par exemple. But, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, he watched these things where like, it always got unlocked because of some power of love BS, where they unlock some sort of ultimate power. Like, I don't know what was wrong with this guy, but his anime choices were really off. But... Mm -hmm. And then there's Matt. (laughs) No, we're not going on that road again. (laughs) (laughs) How do we know so many joke people, PT? I don't know. I really don't know. It's right. fine. Let's hear it from you, PT. It's content. But yeah. Um, hey. Sorry, what? No, I was saying, I'll just hear it from PT. Oh, my bad. Sorry, what I'm just rambling. I, I, I told you I have to use. <laughs> I, I honestly can't think of any because most of them have already kind of been done. The only thing I'd like to see what? is. I get... uh-huh. Yeah. Like what? A Mortal Kombat. Like, oh, I'd like to see a pro. Like, nice. okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, the first one is so far the only one that is actually good. The time. second one, like, we'll just not talk about the second one. The Plato fight was amazing. Yeah, MK1, yeah. too, that little TV series they had for a short period of time where Michael J. White was Jax. Yeah. And then the like, new movie. Yeah, it, like, it, it was kind of hit or miss. There were some parts where you're like, oh, yeah, this seems like fun. And then other parts where you're like, why? Why did Goro get bested by this jackass? <laughs> why does no, no one care about Goro? <laughs> He's a prince. <laughs> No kidding. He's a champion. How is he getting owned by this MMA fighter? But uh, they're, they're going to make, like, make a sequel to the Mortal Kombat, no? Could it be good? Yeah. Well, well they, nice. they, they tease it at the end of it, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, then. And they're finally bringing him. We need to bring him. Johnny Cage. Uh, oh, that, yeah. That, that was the big that, tease actually. at the end, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so long ago, but yeah. <laughs> so wait, besides, I barely even remember. Besides Mortal Kombat, what else was uh, already done that satisfied you? <laughs> no, it wasn't, like, there's not really much that, that satisfied. The, 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 he, he mentioned Dead Space. That was one that I was thinking of too. Okay. But that would have been that would have been yeah. nice to have like seen. Uh, outside of that, I can't. I can, honestly can't really think of any game that would have been. Maybe Silent Hill. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Silent Ooh. Hill would have been would have been outside of the movies that came out. Mm-hmm. The movies weren't. They were. It's kind of hit or miss again the same but it would be nice if they actually redid another silent film movie and actually did some some really good uh oh the fucking did some really damn good I, on- <laughs> I honestly forgot about that movie yeah i know and then oh, what was yeah. the second one with the power of the mother's love i i it's somehow she like they still kept on going with it and then the dad ended up somehow in, <laughs> into that whole like, this is the power world. of the mother's love but the dad was looking for you go fuck that dad we don't need no man. <laughs> Silent Hill. We don't need no man. We're woke here. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I don't no, know. No. It's just what? I I, I, mean, I think it's Resident Evil, but it's like I, I they, they, they have a, they have a great one. Netflix series. Oh, yeah. it was so yeah. trash. <laughs> I, it was I, so I, trash and I finished it. It was so tr- You watched the whole thing? Lance Riddick. Why is Lance Riddick? Is that his name Lance Riddick? 
I think so. Let's just make sure it was named before I... What, Wesker? Matching real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Why was Lance Reddick Wesker? And then he looked like Wesker with the little hat. <laughs> no, sorry, with the little hair on his head and the shades. And then, like, I watched a review and someone was like, why did he turn into Blade? <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, I think Lance Wesker, he could have made a good... He, he, no, he's... Sorry. I... I find he's he's a good actor. He he'd make a great Wesker if it wasn't for the fact that Wesker already looks like Wesker and has been for like the past what decade or two. Yeah, exactly. But when they, so why would it be some black guy who looks like Blade? But when no, but that's it. When they did that change, <laughs> when he had the hair and the shades and the jacket, I was like, oh, Wesker. No. Oh no, Wesker. Is some cat's music starts playing. You look clock that was ticking in my home. Change my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. No, <laughs> it's Wesker. Watch out! Bam, bam, ba, dum, ba, ba, da, 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 da. Wait, so, so were those all the Blade memes that I kept on seeing? Because like, I kept on thinking <laughs> for the longest time that there was another Blade movie. Like, oh, cool! There's another Blade movie coming out. I wonder what it's gonna be all about. I don't bother to look it up or anything. <laughs> That's exactly what up. you saw. <laughs> Why did he look like Blade? <laughs> Why did he look like Blade? Man, so yeah. Hold on. I got you. But, but you know what though? I, I think I'm. I don't know if I would even make like a uh, a movie or um. I think I told you Check that before. Messenger. I wouldn't make a movie or a um, miniseries. I would like make a, a universe, and I would make um the Tom Clancy universe. That's what I would. Oh, do. that'd be neat. Mm. Like kind of like twenty four ish or uh, what's it? Jack Ryan? No, Jack Ryan. Yeah, Jack Ryan. Yeah, yeah. And I would do miniseries for each one, and uh, like I would have the Ghost Recon franchise. I would have the Splinter Cell franchise. I'll have the Rainbow Six franchise. Uh, the Rainbow have, Six uh, franchise. Ooh. Yeah. Siege. Uh, a Siege like movie would be pretty dope. Oh like no! Always rescuing people and blah blah blah. There's a big thing. It's like but, SWAT. But, no no no, dude. Rainbow Six is so much better than that. If you play the original games, there's actual storylines and reoccurring characters. Rainbow Six Siege is just a cash grab. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Maybe That's if fair. they kept with like the original like characters from the the defense and the offensive sides, mm. like what they originally released out, and oh, maybe you, you're, you're saying use the characters from Siege. Yeah, if they use um, the characters from Siege, but kept it like like I said, the first the first set of characters. Because I found like the first like the original content, I could see that as an actual series. Everything else after that kind of seemed very gimmicky. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yo, dude, there's a character right now who, uh, he, he, he makes a drone that, like, hovers and sets off a grenade, but it can also turn invisible, and it's like, yo, what the fuck is this, man? This is, <laughs> this is not Tom Clancy you, you at all. About, I, I don't even remember what the hell that guy's name is. Is that the guy that you're talking uh, that's that's been out for a little while, or is this No, no, a it's, a, it's, a, it's a new you... one that just came out. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And I got some email from Ubisoft saying, like, how, hey, uh, we're changing something, so please save your account. <laughs> Huh. You probably Wait, got, yeah you probably got it too some merger or something like that I don't know oh my god but uh, <laughs> but yeah no I, I would make I would make the multiple different universes and then I would have my movie event the movie which is the culmination of those factions meeting okay that's how I would work it man I mean I, I think people will go crazy over that shit and to be honest you can even keep this the, the Jack Ryan that's happening right now with uh, what's his name Jim from the office. <laughs> with Jim he's trying to find Pam <laughs> see Dwight shows up <laughs> he's the bad guy Dwight's the enemy it's like <laughs> <laughs> Steve Crow makes cameos as one of like the agents who gives him supplies he's completely competent didn't uh didn't, he, he didn't Steve Crow Steve Crow did a spy movie yeah get smart yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah with the rock <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but The Rock was hilarious. He slapped a staple on someone's head in that movie, and it was fucking funny. No, to be fair, The Rock in that movie, like, The Rock earlier career was actually him trying to act a bit. Mm -hmm. The Rock well, in later career was just like, I got jacked enough to play every role. The, I mean, there's the obvious good movies of The Rock that like I liked Superman. early in his career, which was, like, Gridiron... Was it Gridiron Gang? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gridiron Gang. Oh, I fucking yeah, love that movie. movie. I thought it was great, but it's just The Rock being The Rock again, you know? Like, oh, Walking Stop Tall, the bitch. best one. Walking Tall, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had someone who was entertaining, and then you have Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look so depressed? <laughs> it's Walking Tall One, The Rock, Four by Four, out to get oh, vengeance and, uh, or justice or whatever. He did that. Uh, he did that other one. Um, Kevin Sorbo, depressed. What was that other movie? The Runaway? No. 
Uh, when he's in the jungle. Down. The rundown. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was okay. I thought it was funny in that. And, uh, and to be honest, I think The Rock has good comedic timing. He does. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. There, there were some scenes that made me chuckle well, in um, he Jumanji. He has to. He went through all that wrestling, right? <laughs> the whole thing. He was The Rock. It's, it's so, comedy. yeah, he has comedic timing for sure. Yeah, he, I, I, I think his comedy is pretty good. Like, I'm surprised at how much The Rock and John Cena make me laugh when I, when I see them in movies. Like uh, oh, the, the, I haven't seen that. Uh, what was it? The uh, Peacemaker. New... Yeah, apparently it was really good. Yeah, Peacemaker yeah, apparently was really good. Um, I, I I don't think I don't know if you guys saw this movie. But it was a sequel to Get Shorty. What was it called? Get Taller. No, Be yeah. Cool. Be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rock was in that too. And dude, like you said, man, early Rock was different. He was fucking good in that. He played a oh, yeah. a, a, a gay bodyguard. <laughs> was, He's like checking so himself good. out, and smacks his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I could be wrong. Maybe he wasn't even gay. He was just like you know. He really no, no, to no. Be a his model. character, his character was gay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I, 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 it surprises me how how wrestlers or fighters and stuff take comedic roles in movies, and it, it always cracks me up. I, I don't know if it's because we know them. Hulk or... Hogan. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, what was he? The nanny? Suburban or... Commando. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nanny. Some nanny. Suburban Commando. Suburban it's Commando. It's a crappy movie. It's the only one that I know. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I've what was never... the other one? Mr. Nanny? I think it was yeah, Mr. Nanny so. or something like that. I've never seen a Hulk Hogan movie. I only saw him in I've Rocky... I've never seen a Hulk Hogan I like. Three? Rocky 2 or Rocky 3, and that was it. Oh, yeah. A Rocky 2, I think. Yeah, he had a small scene in there, and that was the only thing. Yeah, I yeah. Ever saw. he's he's playing some pretentious Jack Kicks. So I think he based it off his real life. He was playing off Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, he was playing himself. So. <laughs> I, I hate Hulk Hogan. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Did, didn't wasn't there like a scandal with him recently about? Something is like it there, when is there not a scandal with this turd? <laughs> 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 like if he's not having sex tapes because he knows some cuck radio host. He's going around being racist. And if he's not being racist, he's being racist to Corey what his daughter dates. And if it's not that, it's him seeming a little too attractive to attracted to his daughter because he starts dating Ooh. somebody who his daughter's age and looks just like her. And if it's not that, it's his son killed somebody. And if it's not that what? Yeah. <laughs> and if it's not that, it's the it's him having a sex tape if I didn't mention that already. And if I didn't mention the racism, it's because I neglected to mention the racism a third time. There was a third time. <laughs> Hybrid's going to get... Hybrid, man, you got to be careful what you say, man. You're going to get disappeared. By who? Hulk Hogan? He knows the Clintons. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is he going to do? Leg drop me? <laughs> no. Leg because drop Hulk me. Hogan goes around suing people. Ugh. I can't stand. I can't stand a people like that and be Hulk Hogan. So I can't believe you just fussed about Hulk things. Hogan. I, I, yo, I thought this dude was like done. I thought he was a has been. I thought you know he's living no, in a shack. In my opinion, he's been a has been since the nineties. But apparently, people defer, so it's fine. Oh damn! Well, good for him. It's was, just some know, guy who could barely move preaching about America while he tries to screw everybody. <laughs> like, is that you know, you is know that what you should do? What they they need to bring they need to get the ultimate warrior to deal with them. The you ultimate try to get me you try to get me mad, Arch. You son of a bitch. This guy's trying to get me rad <laughs> Who have already made the sacrifice? Oh no, Oh man. What is this man rambling about? Oh, it was fucked up because the Ultimate Warrior had, like, this huge speech, go figure. <laughs> but then he starts talking about, like, the heart beating the last beat. But then when you're immortalized, you'll be eternal forever. And obviously you're like, Warrior, what are you talking about again? And then you find out the next day he dies of a heart attack. <laughs> so he's talking about the heart beating its final beat and living on forever the memories and the blah 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 and then he dies and you're like did you know that you're gonna die from a heart attack are you trying to be dramatic you <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, he was show. so out there but then you realize the actual person and you're like well I'm disappointed it's just... don't meet your heroes ever apparently <laughs> <laughs> uh, so honestly, many scandals I've... yeah ugh yeah, I've, I've heard that shit before. I remember when Red I was Heart. young, uh, when I was young, a, a Planet Hollywood opened up in Montreal. Yeah. 
And mm-hmm. I went down there and I did uh, bump into, I think it was Willis and Stallone. Oh, um, I Well, sorry, I didn't see Stallone. I saw his hand. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I saw his hand. <laughs> I saw, his hand. And, I saw uh, Stallone's hand. But I saw, I, I straight up saw Bruce Willis and I remember, um, uh, I remember looking at him and he was kind of being a, not, not a dick, but you know, just like, you know, get away, from me. get away from me, plebs. You know what I mean? I've heard, I've heard he's always been a dick. Mm. It's like he's one of those actors that you just like seeing him in a movie just cause, cause Die Hard. Seriously, <laughs> but then you're like, he's such a dick. <laughs> but he had he has that face where screams, he's such a dick. Like it's one of the it's one of those you shouldn't be surprised. Like you know how like Will Smith, he's super likable, this this this. But then you're you're like, what kind of darkness shit do you have behind that smile? And then you see Jada. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I saw this fucking. I saw this fucking meme the other day where some guy was explaining what do you do when your girlfriend cheats on you? Like you go into the bathroom, you take your shampoo, your conditioner, and you swap it out for some nair or some like hair removal product, and you leave it in there. Um, because she's, if she's gonna be a bitch like Jada Smith, she may as well look like her. And I was like, oh damn, oh damn, <laughs> oh, damn. Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, when I saw that uh. meme, man. Oh. <laughs> I, you know uh, what? Was, Smith has been... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not looking him up enough, but it's radio silence. I don't have no idea what's going on with him. This guy's like... You know, I, th- I think he went on walkabout or something to find himself or something. Um, he vanished. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because we don't have like that kind of money and fame, but I find these people just turn into such weirdos. Or maybe they're just massive weirdos to begin with. Oh, well, when you have that much money, I don't think you you uh, you live a normal life anymore. Like... <laughs> you, 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 relax. You, you, Let's you, you be as weird as possible. You know, you can't relate to the everyday person anymore when you're I that successful, that. when you're that, when you have that much money. So I don't know. <laughs> it kind of makes you think: Do you really want to be that successful? And then I mm. think yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, hundred percent. And then I think, fuck this. <laughs> No, it's just Will Smith, man. Like, I, I remember, like, in the 90s, growing up and watching everything, like, watching Bad Boys, Independence Day, blah, 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 and obviously Fresh Prince. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then, like, oh, but then, <laughs> you know, you why not, right? You got to toss that bone. <laughs> but, like, but then you find out later on what a kind of, he's, like, a massive weirdo. I'm not saying, like, everything is weird. It's like, okay, we like to have an open relationship. Yeah, some people like doing that. Mm-hmm. And then Jada starts basically talking for him, and his kids are weird. You have Willow talking about the deepness of sex, and you're like, "How old are you, little girl?" And she's like, "I'm freshly twenty." And then you're like, "The fuck do you know about anything?" But she keeps inserting her. He, she keeps inserting everything, and then like her, and then the grandmother's in on it, and then like, and then you look at Will, and then he looks so sad, but he's trying to smile, but he's like, ah, "I yeah. fucked up," but I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to divorce this bitch because she's gonna take so much money, and I'm gonna look like a bad guy because he has like PTSD from his first marriage. And his dad and all that crap. Oh, Smith was married before this. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh damn. Yeah. Know. I didn't know that. And uh, I, I remember um, seeing a video of a uh, uh, Jada has like a, t- a TV show or a YouTube channel or some shit about the, the table talks. Yeah, like uh, Red Table or something. Yeah, and um, yeah, I heard I, about all this crap when it happened. Ugh. I remember one of the episodes. <laughs> she was explaining. Ugh. She was explaining that she never wanted to marry Will Smith. She just got married because he got pregnant, and that was it. Mm. Yeah, and I was like, like none, wow. of, none of it, none of it seemed very good. And it's just like you're watching it unfold, and mm. you're like, the fuck am I watching this for? But just, uh, oh, man. just such weirdos, man. I'm hoping that you know, if for some reason we get rich and famous, <laughs> let's not end up like that. You just be a normal weirdo. Just collect a bunch of video games <laughs> and yell at people online. Just do that. <laughs> I'd rather you do that than screw up a bunch of people because you're a quote unquote influencer. Just, we have online beef, yeah. and that's it. It ends there, man. You know, yeah, just, no kidding. just have online beef. <laughs> as soon as we're done with this video and it goes up, Hulk Hogan sends us a message. What the fuck are you saying about me? <laughs> it's like. A... <laughs> Oh man! Just, uh, well, listen, whatever. guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here because we're at, uh, yeah. It's because this, this, this was gonna be a doozy to edit, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I should have probably should probably apologize. I had some caffeine, so I was a little extra energetic <laughs> on my passion about this crap, <laughs> about this irrelevant crap. But I want to thank you guys for joining me for this conversation today. It's much appreciated. No, of course, it's Definitely. been uh, entertaining. Oh hell yeah! It's always <laughs> it's a good great. time.